All right, what's going on everybody? For today's video, we're gonna be talking about door bezels for your first and second gen Dodge Vipers. So I'm going through, of course, finding imperfections in my 96 and correcting them as best I can because whether I end up keeping the car or selling the car, I want it to look its best. And so one of the things that's always bugged me since I got the car was the driver's door bezel is just all scratched up um, because of the rubberized coating just isn't that durable. I'd reached out to companies to see if they would, could restore it and so far none of them have been interested. And trying to find an original that's in perfect condition has just been an actual, actual nightmare. So there is a company out there who's making these aftermarket ones. Uh, I got this from X2 Builders. Uh, they carry them. I think they get them from Temple Performance. I'm not sure though, but you can definitely get them from X2 Builders. Now the price on these guys, they're not cheap. They're $195 a piece. Now, is it worth $195? Well, I don't think so. I mean, realistically, the piece of plastic and stuff that is, I would say it's probably really only worth like $50. But since you can't find them and uh, you have limited options, $195 it is. So I went ahead, bought one. We'll go ahead, everything looks like it's gonna work out really well. We'll go ahead, get it installed, see how it fits. And then I'll have this one to go and talk to my local paint guys and see what type of options we have out there to possibly restore this. If not, we'll go from there. But at least we've got a new one that's not all scratched up to install in the car. So let's get this thing installed and see how it looks. All right, so the install wasn't too bad. Uh, it definitely the fit and finish isn't as good as the original part is as you can see in these photos, uh, but it definitely looks a ton better than this scratched up original one that I had in there. And the color match to the dash is actually pretty close. So overall, it's definitely a huge improvement. But again, is it worth the $195? Well, to make it look better than the original one, if you have one that's all scratched up, sure. But at the same time, realistically, I think it's probably about a $50 part. Um, but then again, this current market and way parts prices are going, I mean, I just saw a couple weeks ago a set of refurbished headlights for a Gen 2 Viper sell for $10,000. So maybe $200 for a trim piece that's an aftermarket one that fits this well and looks this close is probably reasonable. So I hope you like this information from this video. If you did, go ahead, smash that like button and it helps me out with that YouTube algorithm. And of course, uh, time will tell whether or not I let the Viper go or not, we shall see. Um, but right now, I do enjoy looking at it here in the garage. It is a beautiful machine. So if you guys wanna be kept up to date with all my future videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.